Alright, Brooke, what game are we playing today? Fit. Ooh, fits. What does fit stand for? Fill in the spaces. Ooh, and fill in those kind of spaces. Boom, boom, boom. It looks kind of like Tetris. It is, kind of. Oh, cool. Well, do you like fits? Yeah. And why? Because it's like Tetris. <laughs> nice. Well, what's what are you trying to do in fits? You're trying to fill in the spaces. <laughs> Okay, maybe I should have you explain a little more. How do you do that? So, you, everybody draws one of these four cards. Okay. And they're all starting cards. Oh, so everybody has to start with a different piece. So, this person would, you have to slide it in like this. You have to start up here and slide it down. Just like Tetris. Oh, that's cool because they've all got little, I mean, you see that, they've all got little ridges. So you slide them right down on the ridges. I like that. Cool. And what are you trying to accomplish as you slide them down? You're trying to fill rows. Okay. And why? So you can get points. Okay. So for each horizontal row that you fill in, like that. you're going to get a point. Okay. But I think you can lose points too, huh? Yep. How do you lose points? By keeping a dot open. Oh, so any dot that's exposed. So like this and then... Slide that down. You're sliding so well. Oh. oh yeah, so if you did that, you're going to... Lose three points. You'd get two points because you've got two full rows. But you go into the negative. <laughs> you're going to lose three. Okay, so after you've done your starting piece, then what happens? Then, uh, um, somebody will flip this card. And you go off of the cards and everybody and then, gets that. Oh, so and after the starting, it. everybody's doing it. Yes. Cool. But you all start with a different thing so you can't copy off each other to get the same pattern. Well, that looks pretty simple. Kind of. The, on this one, it's just normal. Just dots. It's got a one at the top. And then you can flip that over and there's two. Ooh, round number two. And that's a little different. What do we have in round two? Well, in two, if you leave these dots open, the ones with numbers, Mm -hmm. That's how many points you get. Oh, you get bonus points. I like it. So you move on to round two and collect points. But a twist on it is that once you slide this down, yeah. and then you got this one, you have to slide it down from the top. Yeah. And at the last second, you can't go like this. So you can't slide over. You have to, So that's the so difference of Tetris. That is how you would lose one of So those. they only come down straight. Yep. You can't slide them over. So that's the difference, but that's how you leave dots open and try to leave some of your bonus. All right, so that's round two. Let's take a look at round three and four. Three is right there. Ooh, that looks like it's got some big buggers. And round four is there. So round three, if you leave those spots open, you're losing five points. Yes. Ouch. And it's hard because it's around good numbers. Oh yeah, you want to get that three, but cover up those fives. Woo, that gets a little tricky as you're sliding things down. And what is number four? Four is, it has shapes instead of numbers. Yep. So when you slide one down, if I had covered that. So you covered up that blue, blue stone. Yep. Then I have to cover up the match of it or else I'm going to get minus three. Ooh, so if you cover if up you, one and not the other, you lose points. If you leave them, oh, that covers another one. If you leave them open, like if you end up and you've covered these two and then all the rest are showing, for each pair you would get plus three. Ah, so if you leave a pair showing, you get plus three. If you leave one of the pair, you lose three. So that's it, four, yep. po four rounds and then you add up the points, huh? Yeah. Sweet, that's pretty cool. And show me underneath there, there's a cool storage bin, right? Do, 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 do. Yep, you get to store your pieces. And you put all your pieces in there. Nice and convenient cleanup. All right, Brooke, that's all there is to it. Is it a pretty fun game? Yeah. Even though you're not attacking each other, what makes <laughs> what makes it fun? The complex of thinking to, it takes a lot of brain power. Trying to figure how you want a piece. You're going to want a certain piece. It's like, oh, if I could slide this piece down, it would be perfect. And then you flip over the card, and it's the wrong piece. It's like, oh, dang, I don't want that plus... So, do you have to use every piece? No, but you have to think of that like hard because okay. if you don't want to play it, you can put it off to the side 
Mm -hmm. But it's taking your chances because it's a higher way that you can get more spots shown. Uh, oh, yeah, because each one you skip, you're going to have less pieces to cover up dots later. Unless you're, like, professional at it and you can do anything. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, what would you rate Fitz? Four. All right. Four out of five. Awesome. Okay, thanks, Brooke. Yeah.